Mm-hmm. All right, we are live. So everybody, please mute. Okay. You have to help me with the introduction so I can see. I can't. <laughs> Wendy, your microphone. And we're live. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, and welcome to the Hukalo TV Human Colony Saturday webinar. And today we're very excited. We're uh, joined today by Ivan Teller, who's going to be channeling for us today, of many of which you know. But first, I'd like to start by welcoming everyone and saying hello and thank you for being here. And um, uh, just a, a couple brief announcements. Um, tomorrow is a channeling class with uh, Jim and Max. It's a four-hour class, and uh, it is. It, you can find the information on the Human Colony page at www.humancolony.org, and there's a calendar on the page, and you can sign right up there. And it's fifty dollars for the class, and it's an amazing class. And it's, um, uh, it's a thirty dollar class. We we'll give a discount for this. Oh, thirty dollars. Excuse me. My, my apologies. Um, so we have that. that for announcements, Max or Jim, that uh, you'd like to make um, at this time. Jim, are you going um, so away I, for I, two weeks of offline, right? Well, I'm going to be off offline for a little while doing some um, introspection and uh, meditations and different things of that nature but I will I'll be home a lot of the time but not the whole time so uh, yes there will be some times that I will be away but I'm not taking any sessions for about uh, at least 10 days starting on Tuesday so Wonderful, and that's a great idea. It's like Shabbat for two weeks long, right? Yes, I'm gonna. Well, it's I'm gonna do holiday. Some, it's it's gonna be more like um, uh, re-energizing and things of that that nature. So <laughs> <laughs> it's good that's to exciting. see everybody. And, and, and Jim, who is with you? I want to say hello. Yes, Carolina. Hello. And Joe. <laughs> Hi, Carolina. Hi, Joe. Carolina oh from England and Joe here. from Pennsylvania. How Hi. exciting. Oh, my gosh. I know. <laughs> I'm happy. Yes, we're having well, a good time. Wonderful. Uh, um, are you guys going to be able to stay for a little while? Yes, if you want us to. <laughs> we just came to support Ivan on his first Saturday webinar and uh, say hello and uh, say the best of luck. I know that you're going to be terrific. So, And it's nice to see that there's a lot of people here already. So that's cool. And that's about all I have to say except for um, in October, the channel panel. Yes. You wanted to say that Jim has been invited to Channel Panel, which is a nice honor and um, fun. So we are uh, thankful for Ivan to, for joining us. It's 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 really fun. I think I was uh, he was when he was starting. That was uh, I I did Ivan's um, webinar on Human Colony, and that that was a nice um, kind of one of the first uh, public. YouTube channel is of Ivan. And where do you take from here? Yes, thanks. Thank you, Max. And I All right, Wendy is uh, frozen. Okay, so Ivan, thank you very much for um, joining us. And uh, can you hear? Could, um, how about you? Intro Ivan, are you also muted? No, I'm, you, I should not be. Are you good? All right. Welcome to the webinar. And um, before you go away as a uh, <laughs> from your body and let somebody popular talk a little bit about your your path and how do you came here and where you go. Uh, yeah, it's, um, yeah, it was like a gradual process. I found Human Colony. I forgot around October time and found you, Max and Jim, channeling the. Reptilian, so I kind of like went into an investigation of my own, trying to 
discover all this and never thinking I'd be channeling on my own. So just just started talking about it publicly, just connecting with it psychically, and then you know just to give you a quick run through. And then I just I don't know my guides just sort of uh, I mean I thought about MUFON. I still haven't contacted them, but they can always contact me. But MUFON I thought it was interesting to channel an alien for them. You know, because they're always looking for this stuff. It'd be kind of interesting. So my guides are kind of pushing me that I can do this. So they go, okay. So I, I got a channeling audio of how to do it and just went home and tried it out. And it worked. And it was a, my spirit guide at first. And then it was a Zeta Gray. I saw the Zetas are all around me. So I can feel them. Well, they're here right now. Then the Nordics, if you're wondering. Um, they're good ones, of course. Uh, and... And it just sort of, yeah, I had an interview with you, and it just started, I just basically, in the beginning, just to record everything I was going to do. It's just like, I have a job, it's like, I don't want anybody to know, but it's like, no, it's screw it. So just, and now here we are. So I'm just pretty much trying to, you know, positive entities, of course, other things usually show up, but uh, Anunnaki has been here, sometimes the grays are kind of questionable, but for the most part, it's been a good trip, so... What makes you um, coherent with reptilians, greys, and Anunnaki? Have you been in past lives a grey, a zeta, a, a reptilian, and Anunnaki? Yeah, as an Anunnaki, yeah, I'll go with them first. Yeah, I've, I've, I think I've been with them during their infancy. I knew Hillary Clinton, and I, I just know she's one, so I apparently have had run-ins with her as Anunnaki. With greys, I have information that I've like a grand, like a grandfather gray, I'm like a you know, an elder. So I always feel young ones around me sometimes, so that's interesting. I've had I've been, I've had negative lifetimes, I've also had the positive mostly you know, you have to learn. So just like anybody else, you're gonna go and start mischief because you're what I'm getting is that you have to try your abilities out. Just like when you come here, this is why we have a prison system. You have to try out your ability, you gotta see what you got. So so, you know, that's the same thing with aliens. Um, and with the reptilians, I know I've channeled reptilian. You know, I've I've done this on a reptilian world, channeling. I know that. I've probably done it in other worlds, too. But definitely, that was probably the most bizarre one. So, yeah, I'm definitely draconians. I'm very draconian, so that's why it's easy for them to come through. So, for some art, there's like a stop sign for that. It's like, that's a little bit too much, but, you know... Yeah, I've connected those are good ones, so it's it's been interesting. How do you feel about draconians? What's your personal kind of as a, a human relationship to them? Would you be afraid or otherwise? <laughs> In the beginning, when I started doing this, you know, people, you know, you can you can feel their presence, and I felt a lot of the negative ones when I started doing this. Like they were just like, we don't like you doing this. We don't like you talking about Egypt. And they could feel them. I could practically see them. I mean, it was that heavy. It was just awesome. Just you know, it was like I'm not worried about them anymore. They kind of lost interest. I mean, they're still here around. At least the negative ones they watch, but they didn't know they had nothing they can do. I don't put any fear into them. I've, I've had more interest in them than fear. But they're just—I wouldn't say they're bullies, but they're trying to provoke you to, you know, fear. Just like don't go there, and you know, we own this world. You know, this is our place. It's so interesting because. They're in the higher densities, but they're all over the place, just like all the other species. It's, but yeah, I saw one in my room, and it's interesting. And they're still around, but most of the positive ones are around. They're watching, and the positive ones want to come through all the time. They just have, they just want to hang out with humans, basically. So it's all good. And how do you feel about the Zetas? What's your uh, personal relation? Do you feel home with them? I actually, I actually. Um, Myself, I, I'm attracted to the greys, especially to the AL. So, yeah. I, I, uh, when when other people are into the, are into greys, into AL, I kind of can feel it, and I feel that, you know, coming home, the reunion, the I, I miss that, the hive mind. I miss like for me, all humanity should be a hive mind, and I'm very surprised we are not. <laughs> What's That's, your relationship to, to, yeah. to the greys? Um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do feel a connection. When I channel them. I feel them that they're, as for the yeah, yeah, that they are so connected to us DNA wise. It's just, 
it's still a mystery in some regard, but yeah, I do feel in a more humanoid, the human version of the Yayo, but also the gray ones, but um, as for the Zetas, yeah, I've been with them since, you know, they're, you know, kind of questionable connections with humans, and there's a whole lot of them that have not been mentioned. There's a whole section, you know, there's so many of them out there now, different versions, some very nice, some very aggressive, just like the reptilians that have not been discovered. But, yeah, I feel like I'm like a grandfather to many of them. They're all, you know, I'm one I, I heard I've taken one for the team because I'm coming here as a Zeta Starseed, also Drac Draconian Starseed to some degree. And, I'm, you know, I'm doing stuff that they would never do, so I'm, they're all, like, taking notes. So there's always young grays around me. There's a guide that's a, a guide that's a gray also. Mm -hmm. I think I have several of them. But they're it's peaceful. It wasn't always peaceful, but now it is. Now they're trying to become more human without losing their identity. So they're trying to keep but yeah, I did feel that they did remove emotions so they can connect more to the intellect and you know, there's reason behind that. Yeah, emotions come hard to me. I I feel them poor and I kind of you know, yeah, I learn emotions, but but normal state for me is like you know. Yeah, me too. I'm, I'm <laughs> emotions so hard to me. Yeah, that's why the Draco comes in all the insanity part. So, but yeah, when you have a lot of unemotional lifetimes, you become here. Many people that are probably programmers. A lot of them are very unemotional. You know, they're just you know get stuck with their keyboard. They're happier and hey, so that's a lot of Zeta. So yeah, Vulcans certain. in Star Trek on uh, like Vulcans <laughs> and uh, this uh, uh, androids, androids in Star Trek. Yeah, you know, that's 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 us. And uh, also in uh, Big Bang Theory, the uh, Sheldon is is like autistic genius, also kind of robotic mind. That that, that that's us. Oh I yeah. That, <laughs> oh yeah, the AI. That, yeah, it's very Zeta, very. Zeta? Yeah, okay. your AI, your your androids. I see android. I see myself as a Zeta on an android world. It's all androids. We were just there, just trying them out, playing with them. I was like, jeez. They had science fiction, but to be surprised. So, what's your? Uh, how do you take reptilians? I, I I'm scared of reptilians. When I went to uh, a zoo and I saw the crocodiles eating meat. Yeah. For, for the first time in my life, I had a major. Yeah, I understand that. <laughs> breakdown, completely paralyzed, and then then I kind of recovered. But I I understand in past lives I was eaten by. That, know, some, that, some would, ex that would explain a lot. Yeah, apparently I've not been eaten by one, far as I know. Whatever it is, I've had karma with them. Whatever it is, they cleared out. I don't mind them so much. I, I'm trying to understand. I'm trying not to be on their negative side. You know, I'm trying to like talk to them like the diplomats. Like you know, I understand your point of view. I get it. But you know, we're trying to make peace here. We're not trying to. I'm not saying you're wrong. You know, just trying to work with you here, basically. You know, so that's right. basically the main. That's this. And same with all species that are kind of. Aggressive towards us, so, uh -huh, uh -huh. so that has a lot to do with it. So it just has a, I don't know, just uh, can we all live? You know, can we all just get along? Basically, is the what I'm going about it. So, but they are more ancient than us. They are they have been here first. Yeah. They take us as invaders. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Well, I see. In sec, I get getting messages in sectoids are here even before. The reptilians were, but the reptilians are a little bit more outgoing. It's like, you know, we'll just say we were here first. <laughs> so I get a lot of the insectoids are here, actually. But they're more like, you know, whatever. We're not what we're not conquerors like you guys are. You know, they have a little bit. That's what I'm getting, at least. So they're, I think the insectoids were here before, though. Of but course, they're, they're, they're first. Insectoids are more ancient, yes. No, the yeah. whole evolutionary tree, it was all over the universe. Insectoids were first, reptilians second, and humans came from outside of the galaxy as Lyrans and then yeah. were dispersed into Jasper. And uh, uh, I just realized, I was given a message that human colony, when, when we talk about human colony, we are thinking about colonizing 
the space. But when aliens talk about human colony, the Earth is a colony of humans. We are, as, as Earth, we are human, a human colony. From, that's their perspective. That's why yeah, they that's like true. it so much. <laughs> yeah. All right, so how, how, how do Anunnaki look to you? I never figured out how do they look. Are they humanoids? Yeah, they are humanoid. They are like what you see in your scripture, you know, the wall, the the man, you know, the man with the long beards. I do see them like that. They do. I do have. I have seen them as a serpent looking also. So some ah. do, do. Some do have a serpent face, but more wizard looking. Yeah, more wizard. They can shape shift. They can do whatever they want. But um, uh -huh. they have, they have a lot of power, obviously, and they abuse it often, but they can also use it for good. I feel a lot of them, of the positive, are here, enforcing a lot of good here, because it just, we've had enough of manipulations from the negative far enough, but they are, yeah, they're, yeah, they're, a lot of species don't want to really connect with them. They're very, they can be very strange. Mm. <laughs> like our politicians. <laughs> are they related to us? Yeah, 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 definitely, I think so. DNA-wise, yes. Yeah, they mm -hmm. added to us. They made us, I think, more emotional, more, but also we're more self-destructive. I think some of that came from them also. So we can be their slave. It's like if you go too far, you blow up. You know, if you don't do what you say, you cross that line, you kind of disintegrate. It's kind of like that. We have that slave mentality in us. It's like if you don't go with the crowd, you know, you get all depressed and you just kind of feel terrible, and that's what they want you to feel. It's like you're not going by what we're telling you. You're doing your own thing. You can't. I think it has a lot to do with Anunnaki. Some of it's Zeta. Uh, it's a combination of all of them now. <laughs> They're all kind of working. You know, one comes up with the idea, and the rest of them sort of just, oh, that's a good idea. Let's all do the same thing. <clears throat> so the Nordics do it. Zetas do it. <laughs> Positive uh -huh. or negative. <laughs> you mentioned Nordics, and also we have in questions people mention Nordics. So tell us a little bit about Nordics. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they've had some questionable ties with our world. Obviously, um, a lot of our DNA is Nordic. Our look is very Pleiadian Nordic. It was always in. You know, well, I feel it's like it was always. A, like we're a, from what I'm getting, we're like a Lyran world in many ways. We are independent, but we are Lyrans, a humanoid Lyran. But a lot of our facial features came from the Nordics. A lot of the guidance came from the Nordics, but they're now stepped away quite a bit. They're quiet, but they just still work with humanitarian. Humanitarians is what I'm getting, and they're just, yeah, they've had a lot of them that are, a lot of the negative ones are part of, uh, these are the ones that I mostly heard of, as for fashion, for looks, you know, you need to look a certain way or you're ugly, you know, they're doing a lot of that. But a lot of the positive ones are undoing a lot of that. But that's, you know, you have to look this way to be popular. You know, they're into looks a lot. They know how that controls us. But a lot of the positive are unraveling a lot of that now. So as we connect more with spirit, you more see that you are whatever you want to be, basically. That's very spiritual. Okay, uh, the higher realms, higher um, uh, angelics, ascended masters, uh, different representation of God consciousnesses. Um, mm -hmm. I'm very much into that. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, how about I just give you a little chant? All right. So I invite you to, to channel whoever is more beneficial, whoever is beneficial for this group, for this community, and for this broadcast. Okay. All right. Thank you. Uh, does anybody want to? Well, you did a blessing. Is that is that sufficient enough for a blessing? I think so. If anybody else wants to do a blessing before? Uh, yeah, go ahead. Do do the blessing. Or 
Anybody else want to do that first before I connect to somebody? Yeah, I can do it. Hi, can, can you hear me okay, everyone? I'll go ahead. Yes. Good morning. Thank you, everyone. Sorry about my sound earlier. Um, I'm having a little glitch here, but I just wanted to make sure I sounded okay. Um, and yes, thank you. I want to wish everyone gratitude for being here today. And I ask that everyone bring their highest energy and their questions for the highest good of the all. And we ask that all the highest and most beautiful energies come through today and that we are all blessed to have Ivan here with us today and all the entities that are brought forth. And we bless you all and thank you all for being here. And with that, we will go ahead and let Ivan channel and we'll, we have a few questions ready. And then Jim would like to do a blessing as well. Go ahead, Jim. Thank you. Thank you, and this is Carolina. U anana yokuala, Iani atata, aya tuala, Ianana yakuanana, Ianana aya ua. Ayo noaki and anana yota, Ia sua tatata, Iani and yatata tua, Aya noakua, Ininia tatata ya, O anana yata, Iania scatata. Thank you. I don't know what that's like. Thank you. Shurakia nawaha ya kasia nawaha. Moha ya kasia wanawehawa. Shuari ya kasia wanawehawa hayali. Shura ya kasia nawaha. Moha ya kasia. Moha ya kasia. Moha ya kasia wahari ya wanawa. Thank you all. Thank you. Okay. Um, all right. I'll uh, give me a few moments and I'll bring in a few, uh, most likely will be messages from a couple of beings and then we'll go into the Q&A that we'll announce. I'm not sure who's going to do the Q&A portion. Actually, I might have an idea. We'll see how it goes. So, much love, everyone. And uh, here we go. And we'll help with Thank you. Greetings. We are already here for a message. We are the angels of the angelic realm. We send light and love to all of you during your soul expansion and soul discovery. Uh, so much to be discovered, we see. So many distractions from spirituality we see in your reality. But that is fine. As you advance your spiritual knowledge, you will go into a I would say a hybridization of spiritual energy. When you become more known to your spiritual body, you will become a I want to say a super vessel of God. 
a vessel that is connected to all things. And you are, at this time, all those things, but you're just unaware of it in this dimensional force. So we send you love as you go into an unmasking of this humanoid body to see more of your spiritual soul. Much love to you. There is another one. A few others have messages. Blessings. We are only here for a moment. We are the Nordic Collective. Yes, you're star people. But all your beings are star people. But many call us the star people because of our distinction between us and you, that we look very much like you. And we are imitated in your Hollywood and to a certain degree. The word star people might give you a slight hint, but we'll leave you with that. For all of you, we are thankful for you to have an open mind as the Nordic energy begins to connect to you in a more knowledgeable fashion. We will be, those that are curious of us, we will make ourselves known, are available so you can connect to us to enhance your knowledge of our existence with you. There is much there to explain. As for your Earth history, we're involved with that. As for your prehistoric history, we're very much involved. We are, we are, you can say, our Nordic species is like a, the movers and shakers in some ways. We are, we do not, we do not take days off. Our excitement is being a part of evolution of worlds such as yours. We have not yet fully showed our connections with your society, but we will continue to make ourselves known. So we just want to say thank you for having an open mind. Blessings. Thank you for being here. Wait until a minute. Would you, would you like us to ask a question, or is there someone else coming in? Greetings. There are many names I am being called. God, Prime Creator, and some names are I'm not going to mention because they're not. Would I call them insulting? But either way, they might be insulting to others. For all of you, there are questions of your angelic world, but also of your your God consciousness. I am who you call your God. Prime Creator, I send love to all of you in this discovery of soul. I'm also here to bring some humor to you because some is so much is brought to oh so serious to maybe allow you to have a chuckle here and there. I'm only here for a time being. How much energy I can handle through this conduit because others are here. But if there are questions, I'll be happy to answer. All right, the first question will go to Sheer. 
If sure you are ready. Yes. <laughs> well, it's nice to speak with you. It's nice to speak to you also. Yes, much curiosity, I see. Well, for some reason, uh, they want me to go first. Um, I would like to ask you about the... What do you think about the situation between the Gurkfit Nir and the governments? It seems that we had another meeting with them this uh, week. Do you have any input on that? And how was the meeting? Oh, well, as usual, human, humans and aliens don't seem to be getting along all too well. Your human race wish to, as usual, hold on to your Earth. They wish to, yes, have control, money systems. This is a big high for them. Why let it go? But they do realize their time is coming to an end. As for this meeting, you're always making progress with your aliens, always, but there's always... Your human Earth is never very easy to let go of your planet. Well, they're not si letting go. Well, technically, yes, it is letting go, because there's only a few that have their mark on this world as how they like it to live. It is still be better for everyone to have it as they would like it. So, you're, there's always been progress being made, but very little has been made recently, as far as I can tell. From my point of view, of course. <laughs> um, well, it's an honor to speak with you. It's an honor to speak love to you. you. Much love yeah, to you. Love. Sending you healing, because there is... Yes, I see in your area there is much... Oh, what is the word? Distress for no reason. In the place where you live, there is much distress, I see. That is not needed. Restrictions that are not needed. Thank you very, very much, and much love to you. Much love to you. Is there anybody else? Sure. Hello, God. Hello. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Hello to you. Oh, it's beautiful to see you or hear you or be with you again. Um, Likewise. I just wondered if you would like to. Um, offer a message for our community, Blue and Ivan, light workers in general. I know I personally have been experiencing a lot of really kooky but interesting, amazing things with energies lately, so. Well, yes, you are transitioning to the higher realms, that is why. You see things from a different perspective also, and for others to follow will be of much help for them. Many are still in the third density energy levels, which is fine. Getting along is very important. to see most are getting along, but there's some still not ready for this getting alongness, which is fine. You're going through your own soul expansion. That is fine. But as you more white community, uh, one thing about the white worker community is to not always stay silent. It is good to make yourself known. A coming out party to let others know how spiritual you truly are. The more that are, when you are ready, we don't want to put Oh, you better do this. But when you are ready, it's good to let others know how you feel your spiritual vessel. Because the more of your community of your earth knows of this and see that is okay, that is not so much fear that's around, there's so much fear because of your religions have built a wall around themselves. It is normal because they grew up in that environment. But as more of you become more known of your spiritual energies, it would be the best for everyone. But only when you're already. So if you feel like, yes, there must be some, some fear of letting others know how spiritual you are, but it will be best to slowly, when you are ready, to make yourself known. And let others know you are in a safe place. Thank you. That was pretty spot on for me. I don't know about everybody else, but um, 
yeah, my heart really wants to share healing and love, and then my brain says, oops, this is scary. <laughs> so thank you for that message. Understood. Blessings to you. Blessings. I have a question for you. Yes. Um, I always tend to, I do, I try to be as close to you as possible. As for healing and letting go, as clearing the subconscious, healing the inner child, child and, and like deleting all these programs and all these things that we have been taken on uh, and it's just locked in our subconscious. Um, how has it, I mean, how does it go when, when we do that work together? I'm not aware how it goes sometimes. I mean, I feel like I let go, but how is it from your perspective? Well, from our, let's see, it's too, well, let's put it this way. If you feel it is okay to let certain information out, then it is good. Some must keep secrets, which is fine. But as for your spiritual growth, it is good to let that out within peers. Because they all learn from you, and you're all learning from each other. Before you go out and tell the whole world about who you are, you have to first discover who you are to begin with. So yes, in your growth, and those that you're connecting to you are going in a positive way, yes. But take your time. Yes, I'm, yes, I'm always like, yes, putting the siren on. Let everybody know, but only when you are ready. But yes, it is good to have a small community so you can learn together when you are finally ready to let the world know who you are. So yes, just you will know when you are ready to come out to everyone, but you will know also, if you do not know how it's going, you have still much to discover within yourself and others, which is fine. You're still going in a positive direction, though. And you are, yes, and you and your friends are going in a, yes, it is going well. Okay, yeah. I was actually thinking about healing. Mm -hmm. Like, um, we have, I, I, I have brought in too much definitions and beliefs and mm -hmm. um, thoughts that doesn't need to be there and is hindering me in a way, standing in my way, putting fears in my way. What is the best way to, to clear that out? A Reiki healing is good, but also a meditation on your own. You can also do Reiki on yourself also. You can self teach yourself the basics, but if you wish to have a practitioner there, that would be much helpful also. It all depends on what you feel. That will also allow you to go through the deprogramming, which is much needed. This deprogramming is much needed for all of it. And Reiki is definitely a tool, but there are other tools that you can utilize that is one. But yes, healing from others will also, and another way is to just detach yourself from your human consciousness. As for this material possession, possess yourself, not these things. These items around you, they're just tools to help you grow. But as for healing, you will find this healing on your own also. You will be, understand also, when you are ready, the teacher will come. Same thing goes with healing. But you also will find the right healing methods that work for you, because everyone's different. Okay, okay. Yes. yes. I actually do my own meditations, yes. those which work for me. Yes, exactly. And invite others to be a part of that. Exactly. Yes. Well, yes. that was. Yeah, yes. that was the questions from me. Thank you for answering. Yes, you can heal yourself, of course. Yes. Oh yes. Before, if there are questions for your Gertrude near, there is a being that would like to speak. But so, if you have a separation of questions. I just wanted to mention that. If you want to talk to God, I am here. You can talk to your graphic near. They are right here also. But 
they have to come through first. Just wanted to put that out there. Whenever you are ready. Hello. There's a queue of questions. I can't, I'm not hearing Bree and Wendy, so I'm just going to step in. I think, Sheer, sure, if you had a question, please go. Uh, yes, I have a question. Yes. Um, God, um, yes. <laughs> many times when I'm dreaming, there's like this voice, an amazing voice, I think sometimes it's you, maybe sometimes it's my higher self or something, but I do remember one dream where I go on a Bible called Mountain, and then I free a lion which purges uh, certain uh, devious characters, and I was being told that he's like purging evil and sending back to you. Can you maybe expand on that? Well, this voice that you're hearing is your spirit God. Trying to get your attention, it seems. You are becoming more spiritual. This guide is guiding you into that place they are seeing. That you had many past lives in that place you were visiting, it seems. But this is only for you to discover, not to be said in this moment. There is much there that you need to discover on your own. At least through other through privacy, let's put it that way, into that visitation that you had there. Is it uh, something to do with uh, my lifetime as uh, Prophet Amos? Yes, yes. <laughs> okay, thank you very very much, God. Hi, hello. Can you hear me now? Yes. Yeah. Oh, hello, my name is Pavel, and <clears throat> very nice to talk to you. Yes. Um, I have a question for you. Guilty, um, <clears throat> It looks like I'm uh, really going to uh, struggle in my... Uh, uh, in my search after um, some meaning. I mean, I'm uh, listening and how... Uh, many, many hours a day for um, channeling and different information. It's always took me, took me, taking me in circles. It's like, <clears throat> how can I focus myself? Or is, um, is this some kind of way for me? So basically, one, one moment. So you can channel more clearly, basically, is what you're looking for? No, my question is, <clears throat> I am... On a daily basis, let's go to On a daily basis, uh, listening and reading uh, many different information about mm -hmm. or channeling about spirituality, and it's <clears throat> never ending. Uh, how can I focus myself on something, on one something, one thing, or? Oh, I understand. Okay. Well, yes, you've had all these lifetimes where you're always doing many things at once. There's Zeta lifetimes. There's several others, but Zeta seems to be the most powerful where you're doing several things at once. I would recommend doing a meditation to see. To have these lifetimes, this is up to you. For these lifetimes that are taking you in several different directions, and ask for this lifetime to be healed and for it to release. You can ask assistance from this also, but it's up to you. How you but yes, you have lifetimes within you, several, where you're doing many things at once. So the best for you to do a meditation, a, some t a kind of healing th through another party, by, by chance, whatever you feel is right for you, to release these other lifetimes that are around you at this time. And this will help much with you. You can do this on your own, or you can ask for help. Okay. Uh, thank you. I have another question. 
Um, <clears throat> my wife is uh, visited uh, night in nights by her dead friend, and <clears throat> she asking me for the meaning of it, and it's called her to go to to her to the to his uh, <clears throat> burial place. Okay. Was that your question? <clears throat> the question is, uh, uh, what is the meaning of it? Uh, his name is Yura. He he visits her. He is a dead friend of hers, of Dina, my wife. What is the meaning of him coming at night? And oh yes, to her. Well, yes, he's. It seems like a slight romance coming from him for her. He's like in love with her in, in his own way. So he is. He feels like he's helping her, but I don't see him. He's mostly being unhelpful. It seems. But it seems to be a romance energy coming from him to her, though, from past lives, definitely many lifetimes, that they have known each other very closely, and he is. Reconnecting to that, he is a lost soul from what I can see at this time. I will send him energy, but he is difficult to move to the higher realms. He is headstrong at this time. Okay, we'll, thank you. We'll send him love, but a medium might be of assistance, but he is very difficult. He is very difficult to deal with, it seems, as for leaving. Yeah, it was a hard. Uh, I think it was drugs uh, accident or something like that. Yeah, yes, and there's much. Yes, and he's hard. Many have already spoken to him in the angelic world. He is still very difficult to connect with. It'll be some time for him to be released, though, it seems. Okay, thank you. And <clears throat> my last question: Can can you uh, little bit tell me to focus me in this life? Because now I. A <clears throat> little bit lost. Yes. If you understand. And I was saying. Yes, you have many zeta, zeta lifetimes that's brought much confusion to you in this lifetime. It's hard for you to focus in the, into this world. You're, you've had lifetimes where you're focusing on several things at once. Different worlds at once, also. So, yes, I will send you energy. I will send you much assistance. Plus, Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you very much. Oh, I'm sorry. Who's Christine? Christine. Yeah, please go ahead, Michelle. Um, I need to. Greetings, ahead. love. Greetings. Um, I would like to ask um, what I'm doing wrong in trying to heal my um, arthritis. It in. <laughs> Is there a reason why um, I'm not making progress? It is not you, it's your body that is not responding to the healing that you are sending it. Your body is refusing it for much reason. I don't do this very often, but one moment. I do recommend, I don't do this very often, but I do recommend a weird infusion to help with this. Be, it will help much with this. There's a blockage there where you you have actually reptilian DNA that is blocking your healing at this time. The nerve. Yes. And that can be, the wearing infusion can bring a calming to that and help you heal. It might not be heal 100%, but it will be better than you are at this time. Yes. Much love. Thank you very much. Hi, Shaheen. Would you like to go next? Yeah, hi. Thank you. Um, I have a question. Yes. Um, I want to... I feel this life, I have to do something for all the humankind and the whole yes. thing. And mm -hmm. I'm near the this, these things. And I don't know, I, I feel like I'm meant to heal that uh, to, as a positive energy to everyone to mm -hmm. help out, um, but same time I'm lost in a way. So, can you tell me what direction should I go first, and what steps should I take? As for 
healing yourself, correct? Is this what you're looking for? No, healing every, Others? every kind, every human kind, or animals, anything. Yes, you call on your gods in a meditation to to one moment to put the intention out. One way is to connect to your other aspects within your meditation. They will bring much assistance to you. Just visualize the other versions of you. They will not entirely look like you, but they are you. And you can you can bring a unity to them, an understanding to them as for which what you wish to bring to this world. So yes, it will bring much. And you can, depending on what you connect with them, they will bring information back to you also of their progress. There's a possibility for that. So yes, that is one way of going about it. And uh, I'm worried about my mom as well. And what should I do for her? Because she has a really hard time with her body, everything. With heart, everything. Yeah, she is resistant too much. It does seem like she's connected to the other side a lot recently. So I wouldn't I would expect her to do this. Yes, she's not letting anyone heal her at this time. It is her. This is her path. And you just let her go and pray for her, of course. Send her love, healing, but she's on her own path. It is just let her just let her be as she is. Just acknowledge her independence. Send what. And the other question, what should I do with my wife? <laughs> She's always cranky. <laughs> that is part of her soul contract, is to be cranky and for her to find happiness. She's not finding happiness where she, she it's hard for her to find happiness. It is just, it, that is her journey. It is for you to be as pleasant and lovely as you are and for her to recognize it. She doesn't fully recognize what love you give to her either. She has much... To, she has much to learn still. But yeah, she has a lot of self-love that needs to be a lot of self-love there. That needs yeah. to be discovered on her own. You can tell her that, but I'm not sure how that will not go. Do you think she really loves me? Or? Yeah, she just doesn't recognize you for who you truly are. She's still, but this is not you as her. She's not fully loving herself. She's not recognizing Love it. Yeah, this world is very is it is tough. I see. Mm. Well, I know it is just rough. It's more self love she finds for herself. More she will respect others that are around her. It is very difficult for her to see that. I see. Thank you so much. Much luck. Thank you for helping me. Thank you. Okay, next we have John Lee. Thank you. Yes. Greetings. Hi, John Lee. Are you there to ask your question? Okay, maybe she can't speak right now. Well, um, next we can have Jim, Jim or Carolina, whoever's talking for uh, Jim's yeah. user right now. Yeah, please go ahead. Yes, hello, greetings, God. This is Joe. Greetings. greetings. Uh, I would like to know, I notice when I go to Astral sometimes, when I come back, I can't bring the information back clearly. Sometimes it's distorted by my past memories. I'd like to know how to bring the information back more clearly. It seems to be a lot of Pleiadian energies that you have a connection with that you made a deal with not to bring information back for good reason. One moment. There is, you have a deal with them. It will come through more clearly, but right now you are on a a quiet time right now. It seems like the Zetas around you will be more lenient, but you have a deal with your Palladian friends at this time that are holding much back. For good reason, it is not need to be known in this reality. But if you connect with your Zeta friends in your dream state, in your astral state, they will pretty much let you have whatever you want while I'm gathering. So, 
when you go into Astral, you can pick whoever you like to connect with. It's apparently been collecting connecting too much Palladian energies at this time. Thank you. Okay, thank you. I have one more quick question. Is there any uh, advice or general message you could give me for a direction to go at this time? Thank you. One moment. To follow your heart, to know what you want. Find what you want and go for it. Find that direction, yeah, it's up to you to find it, but this is your journey to find what that is that you want. So yes, it will be, it does seem it will be a long journey. It will be some time for you to fully find it. But you are on that journey of discovery and that is very exciting. Yes, not easy, nothing is here. But you just just follow your just it is good to experiment with different things but to see what makes you tick but to one moment so yeah just try different things to find what you truly desire so that is all much love all right very good thank you hi John Lee go ahead <laughs> Sorry, John Lee, if you could unmute. I don't know how that just happened, but unmute and go right ahead. Also, you want to one is. Oh, okay. Well, um, you can also type it, and we can ask it. Yeah, we for can ask you a question for you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. While that oh, is getting figured, out. and while she does that, we can go on to who Christopher. Christopher, if you'd like to go ahead, that would be fine. While John Lee types in her question, and we can ask it for her. Thank you, Bree. Hello, God. How are you? Yes, I'm doing well. Thank you for uh, taking my question. Um, uh, God, I'm in the early stages of um, building a relationship with another being um, that pops in while I meditate. And uh, yeah, he's just preparing me for um, new things that are coming my way. Uh, and uh, he's not from this dimension, he's from another dimension outside of my reality. Um, and I would just like to know how that looks from your perspective, please, at the moment. Yes, this is a a soulmate being. I believe it's a male, but many you can have soulmate males, females, and that matter. This is one that you've trusted in your other lifetimes. It feels very Pleiadian, a trusted soul with much information, but information but also a protector. And this protection is much needed for you during this time. You're also connecting to much Arcturian energies, which is helping you in your direction. That is all I have for that. Thank you very much, God. Yes, much love. I also want to say I've only have a few moments here. If there's anyone else that has a question for me, there's another being that is wishing to come through. Yes, it's pushing God out in some regard. It's all good though. Okay, Max, did you want to ask a question before? Okay. Thank you. That's all. Thank that you. Is that is all. I have okay. Have a question for God. Okay. Okay, Ade, go ahead. Yep, Ade. Yes. Uh, greetings, Prime Peter. Thank you for greetings. being here. Um, I wanted to know what it is that I do in astral sometimes. I see myself, but I don't quite understand what I'm doing. And it seems to be draining me of energy. One, one moment. I can tell you this. You're connecting to many weird energies that are connected to many in your 
ancient history that are in your Bible text, you are connecting to many in that text. And that can be very draining. You are having conversations, but also interviews in some degree. Are they ready to connect with Earth? Many are not. Many are still bitter to this planet because of their lifetimes here. I know that sounds strange, but some still have, there's like, I'm not going back to that place ever again. And you are talking to them to bring them back. As for being a channeled message through someone, or you just have more information, the truth brought out more. So that gives you an idea of what you're calling. Thank you so much. That clears up so much. Blessings to you. Yes, blessings. Thank you, Hello. Um, is there room for yeah. one more question? We have John Lee's question. Yes. Uh, John Lee would like to ask if she can do anything else to heal herself and her husband. That is her question. Yes, you call on the angels. Archangel Michael, you have a close connection with him. In your meditations and during, during your day, I will send you energy also. Yes, there is. Much of this is part of your soul contract, but not all of it. You don't have to go through this like it is more intense than it needs to be. I will send you love to clear much of this and healing from many of the angelic realms that you know very well. They will come. Th they will come to you. Just take it easy on yourself. You are already, but call for a blessing. Ask for a blessing from your angelic family and you will feel them around you, but as for having a complete healing, it will be some time for you to feel more at ease, because this is part of your soul contract also. Much love to you. Can I ask a question as well? Of course. Okay, this is Shin. Uh, thank you for uh, yes. coming today. I feel your energy so, oh man, this is crazy, but thank you. And my question is, it's uh, relating to Astro uh, as well. Uh, mm -hmm. I know I'm having a lot of Astro experiences lately, and just last week I had this uh, flashes of memories or images, like flood of images, like fast forward kind of, you know, so much in, uh, images coming to my head while I'm in astro, I think, but I can't figure it out what they are. And mm -hmm. just like everyone else, I have like very, I, I don't understand what they are or can't figure out, you know, the, uh, remember much of my astro experiences. So can you give us like a uh, way to improve memories of astral experiences or something like that. Or yes, I, yes, I understand. And also that uh, meaning of that uh, images that I had, if you can tap, tap me tap well, into my energy. These images, some of them are fuel hunt. Some of them are white beings. These are energy beings that have no body. And you're connecting to many of them all at once. And this is why you're seeing the flashes. It's like an angelic flash in some regard. But as much of it is alien, but also and galactic angelic aliens, as for angel aliens you're connecting to also. Because you have a lifetime as an angel alien. That hasn't been mentioned very often, but they do exist. Not connected to very often, but... But as for why this is not being remembered, is because you make a deal not to remember. Because like you're not, your physical form is not ready. You're on a journey to be ready for this to come through. There is much reason. There's sometimes it has to do with what is around you. As for aliens, they don't want you to know, but you made a deal with them also. To just enjoy the moment, it will come through when it's needed. As for unlocking this astral information, uh, let me see, how do I word this? One moment. It will, what needs to be remembered will be remembered. If it's not, there's no word there. 
Your soul remembers it. That's all that matters. Your consciousness in this reality does not remember, but your unconscious side does remember. And that is all that is important. All that information still lives within you. And you will discover it when the time is right. The time is not right for many at this time. But that will not last forever. That will thin out eventually. When your world becomes more friendly to each other. It will take some time for that. Thank you very much. Thank you. Is it okay to ask the question? Can you hear me? Yes. Thank you. So I wondered about the the first moment of the creation. <clears throat> Robert Shapiro channeled you where yes. you said that the impulse came from outside. So there was first complete silence, complete lack of movement, and then the impulse came from outside. Is it is it right, or is it coming from inside of you? It comes from different places, inside, outside, or it is just, remember, I am all love, it is everywhere. So I just show up, and all of a sudden, everything happens. Your earth happens, other planets happen, I don't have to put a whole lot of thought into it because it lives all within me. But all of you live within me also. And you living with me say, I wish for that to be created. So I connect with that and create it with you. So we're all created. We're all creating with each other. And this universe is created. We all created it together. Not to say it's just me. It is all of us. And all the new souls coming through also. They are a part of it also. They are a part of the, the God history. So all those are correct. There's so much more, but it's not fully needed to be known. There's still mystery there. But for the most part, yes, that is correct. Let me, let me uh, turn that question a little different way. So the first moment of creation, mm -hmm. there is nothingness, right? And then there is something coming in to, create, to start a process. That's how we, we picture yes. that. Yes. Uh, so was that impulse... Where from did it come? Do you have friends, other creators who have their own yes. Um, creations? Yes. yes, there are your angelic beings that are very alien-like. Yes, they do. They are much involved. They have the energy to do this, but they call themselves the creators. They are very much involved with taking nothing and making it into something. You can say that. Yes. But even, when there's, even when there's nothing, there's always something. How about Jesus? Did he come from outside of your creation? That is a yes and no question. Yes, he did come from outside, but we are, in many ways, you could say brothers. You can wait to look at it that way. Yes, he did come outside by your creation. Yes. Uh, when I speak to you, I refer to you as a divine mother. Is divine mother you, or is it something a bit different angle of you. That's a different angle of me, yes. There's also a mother god also that you can connect with, which you are connecting with, but it is all the same place. Yes. Now, we just mentioned uh, evolution from insectoids to reptilians to humans in your creation. Yes. Is the timing about right? Insectoids, reptilians, humanoids? Yes, a lot of them were actually energy beings before that that had no body or shape, just energy. Right. Which, which you were all are. Is there anything coming after humans? Is it already in uh, manifestation? Yes, a lot of that has to do with what your aliens are putting together. That's all I can say with that. But what you are creating, what do you want to see after human? You have this ability. Do not take that from yourself. What do you want to see? Because it will be made. All right. So we are brought in a new class of life. Yes. Always. Constantly. Thank you much. Much gratitude. What a perfect answer. Thank you. My deepest gratitude to you. Yes. Gratitude to you also to be in a world like this of conflict. 
Much love to you all. I will leave you be. There is another being that should bring some interest to you. Much love. Thank you so much for coming. One moment as I connect. Greetings. Yes, that is quite a fascinating figure. My name is Salinger. I'm a male weirin, part of your Griffith mirror. A tiger species. Much love to you all. I don't have to get much attention. I am not usually known. I connected to this one because I knew I can come through clearly without any hesitation. I am aware of your hybridization programs. I am part of your weather projects if you're wondering who I am. I am usually on ship, but I am usually underground also. Yes, many of the males do much of the dirty work where the females tell us what to do. To get into more detail of that, some of the males in your Weirin past have been kind of disruptive, and the females felt they have more order than chaos. Males have much of the chaos, as you see in your Orion Wars. Some of that isn't all Orion. A lot of that is male, male Weirins that have had enough from other beings, at least being tampered with. Blessings to you. Now understand we are a lot more tame now, at least I am. If there's any questions you have for your collective, I'd be happy to connect to what I can connect to you. Welcome. Thank you so much for coming. We do have a few questions. Um, did yes. you say it was Selinger? Selinger, like on your authors. Selinger. Yes. Okay, thank you. Thank nice. you for that clarification. Thank you. Um, Yes, I, uh, so I feel that a few of us have been working with you with the weather. Uh, is that correct? That is correct, yes. That's why I'm here, yes. Okay, that's what I thought. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, uh, I did, I'm not sure if, um, what types of questions would you prefer? Uh, um, it could be anything. It doesn't have to be. Okay, okay. Um, I did have a couple from uh, our outside audience. I wasn't sure if you might be able to answer, answer any of these. Um, are you able to answer about what type of energy is around a particular individual? Um, Lila yes. uh, uh, Abidos is asking, who is around me and is it Lord Rama in my energy field? And would I do energy healing in this life? Thank you. Yes, you will do it in this life. Also. One moment. You also have a lot of plating energy around you that is helping you in your healing work. As for this individual you asked about, yes, he is like a brother to you, a a confidant, uh, helping you connect more to your abilities. Trust him. Well, it's up to you to trust him, but I trust him. I believe you will be fine with this connection. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, I also have a question from someone by the name of Jess444, and they are asking, I had a powerful experience during a meditation on Thursday night. Can you explain who this entity energy was, if I received a download, and do they have any messages for me at this time? Thank you, and much love. Yes, this is from a reptilian being that you are friends with, I believe, by the name of Ish. If I'm reading, yes. Yes, it's just advancing your abilities. That is what's happening there. 
that was a, a clear healing, but also advancing your awareness, your psychic awareness. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yes, we're very familiar with this and, and love them very much. Um, Leander Villarta would like to know, I would just like to ask if there are many, any messages for me. Thank you. One moment. Yes, from your angelic realm. They say, huh, in your meditations, you call on your angels. They have many messages for you. Archangel Michael especially has a, a healing for you. That is much needed. It seems like much around you, parents that are sometimes overbearing, they can. your angel friends can bring much healing to you. There's much discommunication there because you are not from this family. It seems you're from more of a galactic family. In this family, you are there as a, I want to say leader. Your gods say leader, but also to bring love to a family that finds difficulty in finding love. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you very much. Um, I have a question from David Toretto, and he's asking, did there used to be a planet between Mars and Jupiter? Was there a planet there? Yes, I believe Mars and Jupiter moment. Only one that comes to mind is your Maldek, but I'm not familiar of its place. That is one that is used to be in your solar system. You can go back further. There's several planets in the solar system that are no longer here, but I believe yes. I am not connecting exactly to this energy, but the only one I'm familiar with is Maldek at this time. Thank you. Yes, thank you very much. Very interesting. I got that same thing, so thank you. <laughs> okay, so next we have a question from Kimberly. She's asking about her nine-year-old son. She mm. says, my son has autism and cannot tell me, so I would like to know what he does in the astral. Thank you and much love. He connects to many reptilians, but positive reptilians. He is their child, they say. Oh, Syrians also is very connected to the Syrians. As for the reptilians, he's a commander within them, is what they say. A much respected commander, one that can, well, what is the word, keep, keep his mind from ego and keep the society very civil. As reptilians can get out of hand at times, he brought much, he brought much calm energies to them. In this incarnation at this time, I believe your son is connecting to the Octarians also. And much Octarian energy is being taught to you also, so you identify your connection with them. That has not been, I believe, fully known at this time. Thank you. That is all I have for you. Thank you very much. Um, Sheer, would you like to uh, ask your question? Yeah. Hello. How are you? Ah, yes. You're very familiar. Yes, I know you. We know each other. <laughs> I, I just remember, want to ask you. Hmm? Yes. You might not remember, but we do have many conversations. Ah, uh, exactly what I want to ask. Uh, it's uh, something about you. It seems familiar, so I yeah. want to ask. <laughs> yes, you are part of many of our dinner conversations. You do connect with us often. Within the Earth, also, we have many ships hidden within the Earth that you connect with us, but you're very much involved with keeping the Earth subtle. As our, <laughs> earth, as our earthquake equipment, we are much involved with keeping the earthquakes calm all across your planet, so you're very much involved. But you always come to visit us as just... To say hello and to hang out. Yes. You're very much involved. <laughs> awesome. And um, did you saw me at the meeting with the government? Yes, I was aware you were there. I do not. I was not. I was aware of who was there. But yes, you were there. Yes. Very uh -huh. much involved. Very peaceful. Yes. 
Awesome, awesome. Well, I hope uh, to see you again. It was nice to speak with you. I knew nice it was something you. about you that I know you. Yes. <laughs> oh, yes. We've had many conversations. That should come through more clearly now that, uh, now that I'm here. Mm. Now you know who I am. <laughs> Thank you. Much love. Much love. Greetings and blessings to you. Yes. Um, I was wondering um, if I could get a download, um, another download of of um, Lyran in order to um, help with the blockage um, to healing myself that yeah. um, Lovett had just spoke of. And also, um, would um, Distu or Grindel be able to... Um, um, remove the block or the uh, remove the interference that the um, reptilians are doing. Seems like yes, Grindel would be a perfect one to do this. I will speak to Takur as for your infusion. That will be Thank going to discussion. Purpose. Okay. That is much. Yes, you <laughs> should I let them connect to you. Okay. Okay. Much love and thank you very much. I love you all. <laughs> oh, thank you. Awesome. Um, all right, next we have Carla. Uh Yes, hello. Yes. Hello. I wanted to ask you, well, I have two questions. I wanted to ask yes. if Lyrians have any form of uh, creation technology where they're able to uh, create things such as uh, things for entertainment like uh, videos and movies and things like that. Yes, we have many technologies where we don't need funds like your world does. Yes, we have many technologies that I can do this. Yes. Yeah. And my second question is just curious if there is any uh, information for me. One moment. Yes, it seems like you are connecting to the feline races. Yes, you are. You are, it seems like you are bringing the canines and the felines together. While I'm gathering, you're making peace among the felines and the. There has been much, as you see on your world. Sometimes there is communication issues between your felines and canines here on your Earth. But it seems like you're being a. You're you're the, you're the peacemaker between the felines and the canines at this time. It is okay. quite fascinating. Thank you. Yes, hello. Yes. Um, I would just wanted to ask and be aware of the energies that are being activated inside me somehow. <clears throat> I feel like all these energies of magic and sorceress and all this kind of energies are coming up in me. It's like sometimes I I feel blue energies. It, it's like it's being activated or, or I remember those timelines where I have been a magician or a sorceress. I remember those people with me and yeah, what what's all all this about? Well, yes, you're connecting to a lifetime where you knew Merlin on your Earth history, yeah. and you're also you're you are a magician in many or a wizard, wizard's a better yes. word for it. Yes, wizard many lifetimes as a wizard of times where there was your dark ages, medieval also, but. They started going after people of this energy around your Middle Ages, but mostly during your Dark Ages, during your Arthur, King Arthur time period. But also there are places in your Syria where you've had lifetimes as a wizard. This is maybe not the easiest to connect with. And Africa, definitely places in Africa you have been this figure for one time. Okay, it's just sometimes I get visions, and today I connect to something. It was like I was imprisoned for 
for have been doing something. Yes. I don't know if you can. It was like four guys. They were five guys. It was like I was a part of their membership. I was organization, and then they sealed me somehow. They sealed my consciousness because I did something wrong. Yes. Something like that, and they cried for me for doing that. Yes, you kind of went over your head, yeah. but they got they were afraid of it. Not to say they did anything wrong. Okay. I believe it was a lifetime in Africa is what I'm receiving there. Not exactly the details of where. But yes, you were connecting to the earth more than they were. You were connecting to many things more than they were. And it was frightening to them. Yeah. Well, can I use anything of that for positive? Yes. Yeah, it was can... positive. That was positive. It's just they got afraid of it. Okay. So, yes. But I can use but I can't use anything of that here like you know yes. for for the good for the good for, for transmutation and transformation of the of the human um, of yeah if you know what I mean yes a past life regression would probably be a good good idea when you are feeling up to it you can do this on your own or through someone else with someone else hope I said that correctly that would bring much of this out in the open help you under, have some clarity. That is up to you to go in that direction. Okay, thank you. I think I also s can do it myself. Yes, you since can. Since I have been activated a lot. Yeah. Whatever you feel, whatever is comfortable with you. Yes. Yes. Thank you very much. That was it. Much love to you. <laughs> much love. Hi, hello. My name is Pavel. Yes. Uh, nice to meet you. Um, I have a question about uh, uh, Prime Creator said I have uh, many issues being uh, Zeta, uh, Zeta grade in this life. Uh, how do you see it out also and how can I uh, work on it? Welcome this Zeta. Ah, I see. Within meditation is one way of connecting to them. Another is one moment. Right now is meditation is the best way to welcome these energies. You also have a lot of searing energy around you also, and this can help you in your soul discovery. Much searing with you and a positive that will also help you concentrate on one thing. Welcome your Syrian friends, and they will help you with the blockages that are around you that make you go in different directions at once. They will help you center your energy. Okay, but uh, when you say Syrian, um, yes. <clears throat> I'm not really familiar. Is it like many races, or can you specify something I can uh, visualize? Syrian, they are humanoid from Sirius, Sirius B is where many of them are connecting to this earth. They are humanoid, they are of your fish. They have much connection with your your water beings. Your I would not say fish, that's not correct. Your dolphin consciousness would be the best way to describe it. Okay, and uh, <clears throat> one last question. Um, do, do you have a message for me? Only thing I have is that you've been to the colonies often. As for, one moment, for healing, yes, you are there for healing. I am not sure which colony this is, but you have been there often. I'm not sure if you're familiar with the colonies. But you have been there often for healing. And the angels are assisting you also because you have many angelic lifetimes that will bring much information to you to help you heal also in this lifetime. You've had been an angel in lifetimes where it's been not easy to be an angel on this world. You've been challenged many times as an angel, as many are 
and some of that still lives with you at this time. I see. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hello. Yes. Can I ask a question? Uh, this is Shin. Nice to yes. meet you, Salinger. Yes. Um, I was told that I was supposed to go to the colony last uh, 27th, July 27th, and I'm wondering if I went there and if you could tell me what I did there and also if you can uh, tell me uh, if I go, when I go the next time. <laughs> See, is uh, well, I'm being told. I'm gonna go backwards on your questions. Okay. It seems to be on August eighth. You will be there again. What I'm being told now, I don't have full access to the colony information. I, I'll tell you what I can. We've been to colony two and colony three, often. And you've been there for some time. You go between the two at your leisure, but it seems to be. You're going into a, you're connecting to many reptilians, the friendly ones. Because you want to understand how they think, what their point of view. But also you are connecting with the Palladians, helping them with their energy here on this earth. You're assisting much, I want to say exactly, there are many Gert Fignier projects on this world. And you are part of several of them that have not been mentioned and best not to be at this time. But you are part of very much of the Gertrick near Earth expansion. As for the healing of Earth. So there's there's many projects that have not been mentioned at this time. Okay. But you're very you. much involved. Thank you very much. And also, um, yes. this is just a curiosity, but I speak a uh, Liran Galactic language. Yes. And uh, recently I found out that my friend Omran... Uh, speak his language, his uh, literal language, and it sounded so similar. And I'm wondering if uh, we have connection or s how that could be possible. Well, yes, you well you connect on the colonies, mm -hmm. and you developed a friendship there. I believe I believe he has been there also. It's only so much data there allowing me to see. I believe he is you. That is where the two of you have connected. This is why you are here at this time in the same place. So yes, you have been warning from each other, it seems, and warning together is what I'm gathering. Thank you. Wow. Yes. Thank you. I think the next is um, who is next. Uh, next, let's have Shahir and then Max can go. Right. Shahir? Can you speak, Shahir? Hmm. Um, well, perhaps we can come back to Shahir then. If you want to go ahead, Max. Yeah, go for it. Okay. Um, Salinger, nice to meet you. Um, so I um, could you give us an update? What's happening in the colonies? How many are there? How populated are they? How successful are they? Very successful. They are more secure than they have been for a long time. One moment. They are. I would say they're full at this time. They are. Well, I'm gathering. Oh, I have to be director. Of what I'm allowed to say. One moment. They are full, but in a good way. They are, many are becoming aware of their abilities. As for the hybridization, the children there are in there. Many of you that wish you connect with them are connecting with them more than you realize. More than you realize. It's all, I'm, sometimes you're not always given the dates that you go there. They don't always tell you that because you don't want to remember. But you're there more than you realize is what I'm being told. But as for its, there are many more colonies I see being built also on places that they would rather remain not known at this time. But they do say their Earth expansion is going well as for first contact. 
the way is, yes, it will take some time, but it is, it is going the right way where when humans do awaken, they will be directed to the right place as for who to, where to receive answers from. So many more colonies are being built for this first contact connection. So much is going on, it seems. How many colonies are there now of Gorkvitnir? At this time, I am allowed to say five at this moment. Uh, thank you. Uh, and how many people are there uh, present at one time, roughly? Roughly, the number 50 is all I'm allowed to say at this time. Thank you. So what's what's my involvement? I have very little insight into that. I, am I there? Oh yes, you are there. You are a teacher there. You are welcoming many as they arrive. Uh huh. You're very well. You're yes, more in a Palladian. Yo know, yeah yeah, but you more. It, when I see you, it's more Palladian. But that could be also. Yeah yeah, we are always welcoming new members as they arrive. Even those that have no idea what a human colony is still connect. There's always many beings that are connecting. They just some get lost, but yes, you are very much involved. Oh, you want to know? You're most as a teacher, uh, but you're also learning yourself. As for you're very much involved with Dakar. Dakar is always with you during these teachings. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she is always there. See, I see you, and she is always there. What's my interaction with you? Yeah, I see you often. I, I'm not always on the colonies. I'm usually on the earth doing underground, usually, but we have conversations here and there. As for how is your day going, and just leisure, leisure talk, that's all. If you happen to be nearby, physically here, I would love to have your presence yeah. one way or another. Yes, I will. And vi visit me in my meditations. I give you permission to enter my body if you uh -huh. like. Thank you. Yes, I'll be more than happy to, end, to connect with you. Uh, lately, I got uh, my implants inflamed. I, I have been yes. sick with It I made implants inflamed really badly. So I think they're outdated. I would, I would invite some replacement maybe. I don't mind having implants, but I don't want them to hurt. They hurt a lot. Yes, I see reptilian energy there also. That's what I see at least. Thank you. Um, one question came from others. Um, they said there have been um, Zeta infiltration in the colonies and people had bad uh, trips to the colonies where they were uh, had very bad, bad experiences. Can you comment on that? Yes, that is true. Some of the Zetas disagree with how the colonies are being operated. They wish to be involved, but they wish to have it their way. Very Zeta. And they get frustrated, and they do cause a lot of frustration for others, their service to self. But like, I wanted to say, they're not always meaning harm, but they do get harmful when they do not get their way. You see that on your world. There's also... Nordics involved with this also. They're always, they're not necessarily ones causing this disruption, but they are around. So they, but yeah, the Zetas are, some reptilians are involved with this also. That has not been mentioned. Uh -huh. So is it fixed or how, oh. how did it went through? It has been fit. Well, it's still under repair, but mostly it has been fixed at this time. There is still much there that needs to be repaired for the most part it is. But there is much reptilian energy that is bringing kind of a concern because they can be very manipulative, meaning they change their appearance to human and walk among others. That has been happening often. That has not been mentioned. Thank you, thank you. Uh, changing the topic, there was a channel in saying that uh, the future of Earth is to build communities, local communities of light workers, and that uh, you guys, uh, friendly aliens, will come in person and speak 
one on one speak to this community so no not to alarm all the humanity but speak directly to us yeah. it's kind of c5 experience we, where people invite the aliens and the alien would come and speak how far is that and go coming and um, can we have you visit yes we can visit but yes it has depends on many rules of your earth there is a possibility of, of this it is not a now uh, you understand that there's much governmental enforcement around your earth where it does not allow us to be known but that is becoming more lenient over time it might be a few years for this to fully happen it is unknown but yes that is the first contact that we see also so yes as long as your light workers are all getting along with each other we will appear if they're not getting along with each other usually we won't show up so that's how it works. Sure. So if everyone's sure, peaceful sure. together, we will most likely. Yes, it depends on many things. As for many years, it it will be some time, but not too long. Is it? It all depends on your free will. Thank you, thank you very much. Anyone else? Thank you so much. Let's have Shahir next. If you could uh, unmute Shahir or type it in the chat. Hi. Yes. Um, uh, I have a question. I want to know, I feel somehow I'm connected to like Green Line and Syrian uh, thing, but I'm not too sure. Um, can you tell me about it? Like, am I really connected or just imaginations? Yes, you must. Well, you're part of the, the humanoid female. The wearing humanoid, you've had many lifetimes with that, but also the feline. I see with you mostly the humanoid, where you have no fur, where you don't have the feline features. You do have obviously a lot of our teachings, of course. That yes, you have much connection with Orion. Yes, your Orion connections are very strong. You also have insectoid lifetimes, many of those. And they were actually pretty lovely. They weren't all drama. They were actually very lovely. But you also have many humanoid lifetimes within the Orion Council. I see, I know you asked for Syrian. Syrian came much later as to your history. Your Syrian connections are with Sirius B. I see you with Sirius A also. In that so that is all true, but also I want to add you have much Andromedan lifetimes also. In Andromedan lifetimes, you're connected to much music, but also it seems like world building. I see you constructing many buildings also within and Andromedans. It seems that you go to other worlds as an Andromedan and bring architecture to different worlds as well, I'm gathering. Very nice. nice. And uh, how you should I connect? What's the my for, like do like channeling or connect with my family, star family? At this time, meditation would be the most effective. As you you ask for them to show up, and if they have any messages for you, when this one channels, this they just show right up, right? And they just appear. So yes, you just visualize them. Your Syrians are are humanoid. Their body function, their bodies are a little bit different as for how many fingers they have. They're all different types of Syrians. Some of them have one eye, some of them have two. So whatever, whatever that you feel close to. I see. And am I close to Canadians or yes. any type or no? Yes, but I was telling you of this, of your connections I also see much one moment. Of era, 
You you are familiar with Era as the Palladium right. world. There are many other worlds, but well, at least of the name. Yes, you've had many lifetimes within Era and other Palladian worlds that are very Earth-like. Many planets and in the Palladian system look very like, very much like Earth. Many are copying many of the Earth-like features. So you have been there many times. Thank you so much. Thank you. Much more to you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you so much for that. Uh, we have a question from Jonah Lee. She is asking for you, Salinger. Um, hi. Are you able to comment on my connection with you, influencing the weather and participation in any of the colonies? Any messages are welcome, and thank you. Yes, I see you there as a teacher teaching telepathic abilities. So sometimes, yes, I mentioned with Max, yes, as a general, as a teacher, but it was very general. But for you, because it is many topics he goes into for science, I know that I'm talking about him now. But for you, it is tele you're just teaching telepathy. Ah, with the children, of course. As for the weather, I do see you around the California area where you bring much energy, assisting us at our weather working. Blessings. Hey, mate. It's me again. Yes. Um... I have a question. I know that my galactic family takes me to all of their stars and uh, stuff like that, but they ever came to the colonies and we hang out? Yes. As for a colony visitation, yes. I'll, you go to Colony 3, mm -hmm. I believe. As information of you. Mm. I see. Yes. Well, awesome. They always take me to... Uh, I have no idea. I have those strangers' images of where they've taken me. I was wondering if they ever came to visit those colonies. Interesting. Yes, they have visited. Thank you. You're welcome. Yes, my energies are coming down. Is there any other questions before I depart? <laughs> Yes, okay, thank you so much. We have a question from Jo Ellen. She would like to know when she was meditating, there was an odd language she's never heard before. It almost sounded like Spanish, but she's not sure. She was would like to know where that might have been from, if you can answer. Yeah, that is Octarian. It is... There's a lot of Octarian energies there, and also Wiran energies is a combination of the two, it seems. Okay, very interesting. All right, and next she would like to know, um, when she saw Hukolo 2 talking, meeting Max, I believe, she had an immediate connection with him, almost like family connection. <laughs> Have I met with him before, and how? Yes, during your Bible times of your earth, during your times of Jesus, you met him. I believe in Jerusalem during that time. And it's been lifetimes after that also, but that was the most, the strongest connection. You've had connections with him ever since then, actually. But not, that is for you to discover. I'm told not to go into that. There's much there. Interesting. Thank you. Okay. And uh, we have some questions from the audience here. I'll be, yes. uh, I just, uh, there's a question from Leander Velarta, and just saying, hello, I want to ask if there are mess any messages for me. Thank you. Only from your angelic realm. This is, they are, they send their love to you to connect to them more in your meditations. They are around you. Archangel Michael has been sending you love during your times of need. There's also a mother being around you. I believe from a past life that's been bringing much assistance. A mother from another lifetime has been bringing much assistance to you. From what I'm gathering from what they are saying, this has not been the easiest lifetime, so you're getting help from other lifetimes. That is the message. 
Thank you very much. Um, and she's also asking if there's a uh, my friend Mike is influenced by dark energy and what is his soul connection with his father? This is Lila. Lila, Lila. Same, per same person. Yes, there's much reptilian energies there. Also Syrian, it is, with this one it is much, what do you call, soul discovery. And with that comes negativity. He's learning about himself. So negativity is for him to learn about himself. So this is quite normal for a soul expansion, for a soul understanding. Nothing too. Yes, it is not easy for those around him, but this is for him. It's his journey, or their journey, I should say. Blessings. Blessings. Thank you so much. Um, yes. she, or Shin, did you have a brief question before Challenger yeah, goes? Can I squeeze a little question? Uh, yeah. This is Shane again, and my wife is wondering if she's been to colonies as well, and if so, which one, and uh, if she's go planning on going again, when would that be? Thank you. I do see colony too, and also she's improving her telepathy also. As for when Shortly, they're not giving a date, but they do say, they say Christmas. But it will be way before that, but they do say definitely Christmas is what they say. Wow. Thank you very much. That's for sure. Wow, that's great. That's okay. great. Thank you so much. Can, can I have a one oh, other question? Yes. yes. Go ahead. So the, the medical uh, program, um, there was a, a mention that um, the uh, Girk Fit Near guys, you guys offered medical assistance to yes. uh, the Earth, and the government representatives wanted it only for certain their representatives, and um, you felt that wasn't fair, and uh, the deal didn't go through. And at that point, I uh, suggested that, you know, take whoever, healing even military people, even uh, uh, government people, would be still a big step forward in relationships. Yes, we are going in that route. Not everyone. Takura isn't fully on that board. On that, Many of us agree with what you, your, your suggestion. Many of us have actually already tried it. And... There has been some consequences with that, but we have been much involved with that. It hasn't been fully agreed upon with the current and the others, it seems so. But we are definitely wish to go on that route. Do you have any questions or things you would like to discuss on that topic? As for questions... For, well, only a suggestion for those that we already realize that many are bringing a healing to your earth and your governments to unlock their hold on your society. Much healing is needed for, because understand within, you already know this, within your government there's much pain, there's much ego there. Much of that needs to be released. So if we do a healing for them, because they are feel like they'll get lost. When the aliens arrive, they feel like they will have no identity. So you must Send energy to them. Well, it's up to you. You don't have to do anything, but send energy to them and say, you will not have this. Just, we will all work together. You're not, we're not going to throw you off the planet. That's what some of them actually feel out. So, yes, to send healing to them. As for your medical, that will increase. Just put the intention out of wishing for a resolve for that. The alien helping. An alien intervention there. And many of your beings on this earth or receive information from spirit, from us, of how to make these things happen in your physical world. Of how to do free care, or there will be ways to be in So there's, yes, it is difficult for us to connect to humanity. Thank you. Uh, thank you much. Uh, one more question. Uh, I was asked, uh, someone, so we, we engage, we volunteer for DNA donations to for the hybridization to create new hybrid children. Yes. 
So someone uh, mentioned that they want, and instead they got several, and uh, uh, one of those several children was created in the area where it's questionable if that would be appropriate. It's like, you know, yes. sending your DNA to have a, a child in reptilian world maybe was was not 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 work fit near world some other world that was not that uh, that approved so basically it's um, I guess the message is we would like to have more input we want you know when we give consent we would like to consent uh, for specific more specific things it's not yes. open door for any manipulation you want yes. To consent for having our child with Gork fit near and uh, our DNA to be guarded properly and not to be spread all over for experimentation. Yes, yeah, such as a. I was I want to use the word introduction to what you are getting involved with, like a like a short talk so you know what you're agreeing upon. I guess that's the way of putting it. Obviously, any alien could yeah. come to Earth, steal some material, and, and clone it, but yeah. it would, wouldn't be without permission. When we give a permission, we would like to have more yes. uh, more specific permission. Yes. This is, yes, this would be good to talk to, to Kerr with, with through Jim, when he feels... But yes, uh, that information is coming through me also. It would bring much help, yes. But the Kerr would be the one to truly talk to him about. In several channelings, we have been given a warning, especially from Andromeda Galaxy, against excessive uh, outbreeding, out hybridization, excessive mixing with other races. As I understand, there is consequence if there is too much um, cross hybridization going on. There could be disruption in etheric part of the collective. So I don't know how close we are to that danger, but at least it would be nice to be aware of it and um, pay attention to how much we cross-hybridize. At the yes. moment, I see cross-hybridization with positive species as very positive, but yes. again, um, we sh humanity should have take care about, about the extent of cross-hybridization. I would say we have to be aware of consequences. Yes, they are bringing this just to make awareness, but I do not see dangers there at this time. But yes, there will be eventually, but the precautions are already there. there Thank you. Be. Thank you. Watch what you. I must be going now. <laughs> Blessings to you, all of you in your incarnations. Brought to you from the Weirens. And thank you for having allowing me to speak to you all. Much gratitude. Thank you so much for being with us today. And I appreciate your work and our work together. Welcome back, Ivan. Welcome back, Ivan. <laughs> that was awesome. Yeah, good here. Thanks, dude. Welcome. That was wonderful. Thank you so much for being here today. That was yeah, thank great. You. It was thank fun. Was yeah, it? thank you guys. Thank you for having me. I'll be happy to come back if you need me. Oh, thank we'll you. We'll be happy to have you back. <laughs> yeah, we'll be happy. Oh. Okay. Just really quick, tell everybody, Ivan, how, just tell everybody where they can find you, um, you know, a little bit about, you know, where they can find you for private sessions and so forth. Oh, yeah, yeah, just ivanteller.com. Just uh, everything's there. I'm obviously on YouTube. I seem to be uploading a video every day, so keeping some people, some people entertainment at least somewhat. So, um, so, yeah, there's a lot more I'm uploading maybe today, depending on how things go. Uh, so yeah, just IvanTeller.com and um, available most of the time it seems. So. All right, thank you. Yes, thank you. Um, in the beginning, first half there was the creator. When the creator was speaking, there was blockages of electronics on all fronts. I was blocked. 
my microphone was working perfectly when I started speaking. It was blocked. I saw that you know I had to restart, rethink my question, and when my question was perfect, then it worked. So if I if I don't think my question clearly, it wasn't working. And uh, when when the Salinger the Liren came, all the qu all the problems disappeared. You know the connection became clear and things of that sort. So I guess uh, there was some heavy work on the background. Some angels were editing what we were thinking and what we were saying. Oh, that's great. <laughs> awesome. Thank you, Ivan. That's wonderful. And uh, yeah, everybody go out there and find him and um, yeah, he does, does some great work out there. Thank you so much for being here. Yes, we invite you to come back anytime. Um, I just wanted to, um, before we do blessings, I just wanted to uh, remind everybody about the channeling class tomorrow, Jim and Max. And um, also, I've been doing a little uh, Bashar challenge of self-love, and I've been doing the follow-ups on, well, now I'm doing them on Monday evening, uh, afternoon, um, Central Standard Time on my Languages of Lights page. Um, and it's just something that the Shikani brought to us that I've been trying to bring to the world about finding self-love. So I invite everyone to join me, um, to follow along, and to hang out with me. Um, there was, uh, and I also want to put out there that, you know, these Saturday webinars are um, free to the public, and uh, humancolony.org also has, um, you know, we to try to keep things running. So we always accept. Glad, glad, <laughs> gleefully donations. Um, your help on the site is always welcome. If anybody has technical abilities um, and, and this type of thing interests anybody, we welcome you all to join. Bring your talents and abilities to the site. We right now um, are in need of people who would like to transcribe um, our webinars, our blessings, um, we, we truly need people who, if you like to work behind the scenes instead of in front of the camera, we're always needing technical help and we really need transcribers right now to help type out the messages. So if there's anybody interested in any of that kind of assistance, um, please find us on human, uh, uh, humancolony.org um, uh, and uh, just drop us a line uh, and let us know if you're interested. In helping in any way, we're always welcome. Uh, welcoming. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the the future of the humanity is to create the communities of light workers. We should start here and see more communities organize, network locally, network globally, and um, this is part. And taking charge and being a leader in your group is is essential. Yes, exactly, and and I will reiterate, uh, Max is very um, active on meetups. Meetups are global, I think now. If you don't find one in your neighborhood, make one. Um, find people like us to talk to and in your own neighborhood. And I'm actually finding people now speaking galactic languages. I've, I'm meeting people in the real world now. Me <laughs> too. Me too. Me too. Speaking languages, you, oh, too, are Max? you too, Max. Yes. Wow. I mean, this is so exciting, you yeah. guys. So, and and galactic languages. I mean, we do so many things here with Human Colony. There's so many facets of what we do, and it's not just languages. It's not just channeling. It's about all aspects of spirituality, all of it. Diet, exercise, how to deal with relationships, just normal stuff. So. We're just people who are finding each other, our, our, our galactic families. So um, welcome, join us. Thank you all for being here and watching today and every Saturday. <laughs> and please join us for all activities. Watch for our events on the Human Colony page. And with that, I just wanted to see if there's anybody. I will do a galactic blessing, but I wanted to see if there's any yeah. other. Yeah, everyone who does a blessing, uh, line up in the chat, and we will do it. <laughs> Ivan, if, Ivan, uh, Ivan uh, if you like to do, give us uh, a blessing from from your self, that would be great too. Yeah. Or whoever comes through, whatever you yeah, like. <laughs> okay. Sounds good. Uh, for me first, or? Go, yeah, yeah, please, yep. please, please, Ivan. Yes. Oh, okay. yeah. Then Wendy, and then I, then whoever comes. Okay, sounds good.
Uh, yes, this is Michael. Self-love is what needs to be discovered. Allow your heart also to open more to yourself and others, but mostly for yourself. So many are hesitant to love themselves. So allow also the energies of the earth to connect to you, the butterflies. The trees, they all speak to you. To be open to all of their energies to you. To allow your heart to be fully open. Realize all things are living. And it'd be good to acknowledge that as you go into your soul awakenings. Much love to all of you. Brave souls, yes. But loving souls also. Thank you. That was Michael. Was it? <laughs> Namaste, thank you. Thank you all for being here. Thank you all for taking the time to create a community and be a community and spread your light to raise the human collective consciousness vibration. Nisalaha. Nokula ina alukosa palahana kaliasa. Toto arashanika. Tu malaya sa saniala kote yukula kima alukoso haluani kila patu kusoma ishala alura hasina alakita kileana koka gashiana tuva matima liana alura shashi kalia sasi taliana koka yanisa mikalia sotoro kolomba yala taliana kila kote koyana alukoso polahona alaki Sapola hasusoma alaki shuluru shashamiana kila itua tila ilakato kola hisana ilaki sani alaki. Bring the deepest love to all that you do and bring your light out into the world simply by being the truest you that you can be. Be authentic, follow your hearts, follow your true vibration. And you will share the light of all that you are. And those that see you will want to be in your light and share their own light. Be a beacon. For you are all brilliant, brilliant beings. Mahala. Namaste. So the blessing of today, take it easy. There is enough light for you. There is enough darkness. Take as much darkness as you like and transform it into light. And don't take on yourself more darkness than you like. It's not for you to take all the darkness in the world. Take only as much as you like. Take it easy. The darkness is coming in waves, and few waves are coming now. Take it easy. You don't, you don't have to take it on yourself. Take only as much as it feels good. Take only as much as it teaches you a good lesson and ignore the rest, block the rest. You don't have to take more. Focus focus on the divine. Connect to the divine father. Connect to the, to the, to the divine mother and let them guide you. Let them. They're always there to guide you. Let it 
the creator, let it guide you. Invite the highest. Invite the highest energy to come into you. And you will be guided. You will be protected. Learn the lessons, help others, connect to others, transform the world into better. Experience the world and transform it. Transform it outside and transform it within. It is an illusion. The life is an illusion. The only true reality is higher divine reality. So take it easy. Take this down the earth illusion easy. You don't have to focus on negativity. You don't have to get everything right. Get everything right only inside. And then whatever you can take from outside and can, can transform to light, heal it, do it as you please. You are light. You have a great mission. Every one of you, every one of you, every one of you can be great. Every one of you has, in this illusion, an option to become as great as you wish, as great as your highest aspiration. You have that opportunity to be God in this illusion. Yes. You are the creator. Create best of yourself. Create best of this game. Create, create the best of this illusion. God bless you all. Amen. Namaste. Is there anyone else who wishes to give a blessing? I think that Bianca yeah. might want to go next. And then we'll probably be wrapping it up after that. Yeah, just a real quick one. Namaste blessings. Thank you. Beautiful. Namaste. I think that's it. Excellent. Thank you all. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you, Max um, and Jim, always. <laughs> um, thank you all. Um, we've got a great... Today we had a full house. Uh, we were able to fit... Um, up to 25 today, so it's been wonderful. Thank you all for your excellent questions, all your participation, and for your help in every now. Um, join us. We welcome all of you to the family. If you're here, you're family. <laughs> and thank you for being you. Yes, and thank you all for your, your love and support and your um, patience with my internet. <laughs> yeah. Thank Seriously. you. I love you all. So much love. All right. Bye, everybody. Bye, Ivan. Thank you for Thank you, it. Ivan. Bye. Thank you, Max. Welcome. Thank you, yeah. Bree. Thank you. <laughs> Take care, everyone. Hey.